It's that time of the month again for another TFAW unboxing. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that every month I get a shipment from thingsfromanotherworld.com where it's full of different nerdy stuff. It could be anything from pop vinyl figures to calendars to just whatever, you know, comics, whatever nerdy stuff. And every month I have my pull list and as you notice from this package, it's a lot bigger than the other one, so a few things to get into. So let's crack this little rundown and everything's in here. So let's get this started. All right, first things first, uh, when I look through on TFAW.com, a lot of times I look for art that's really interesting or a series that's really interesting. I noticed this one, I can't remember the publisher, but that they had a bunch of one-shot comics where that's where it's a story that's told in one issue where there were all these conspiracy theories and this one's called Men in Black number one. So I thought this one was really cool. I'll actually do a video about these because these are all just one issue each, so it's easy to do a video on them. And from what I saw, they're really, really cool. There's one, I think, on Area 51. Another one about Planet X. So all these different conspiracy theories. So that'd be cool to check out. Is that one? Next is Legends of the Dark Knights Metal. Now this one I got because I'm trying to remember who worked on the story on here. Uh, let's see. There's Snyder. There's James Tinian, Tomasi, Bennett, Tyrion, Jordy Belair. I don't remember. Oh, Garth Ennis. Well known writer. So he did a one shot one of the evil Batman that was actually a T Rex. That one there. So when he announced it on his Twitter, I'm like, all right, gotta check it out. So, oh, and the good thing about comics like this, where a lot of people worked on them, they're good for getting autographs, a whole bunch of autographs on one thing. So I've met a few of these people, like Tomasi, uh, Francovelli, Bel Air, uh, Snyder. I've kind of met. So this would be cool to get all covered. Next up, Ghost in LA number eleven. This is the second to last issue in the series of a 12 issue maxi series by Cena Grace. I still need to get around reading it, but I've heard great things about it, so I'm gonna have to check it out. And no, I'm not sweating by the way, I just took a shower, like taking my night. So that's why the hair is completely soaked. Next is Gut Ghost Trouble with the Sawbuck Skeleton Society. I remember why I added this. It wasn't the story, but it was because the art was by Mike Mignola. And you may know him as the creator, writer, and artist of Hellboy. So, if you read the comic, you definitely recognize the style. Next up is No Heroin. Now, I honestly don't remember why I added this, but I remember that the title caught my eye and it was a really weird thing. I'm going to have to check these out later to review. Obviously, I'm going to do that, and I will soon. Probably. And Patriotica, number one. I think the company was American Press. I can't remember the name of it. But the cover I thought was really cool, the artwork. It reminded me a little bit of Terry Dodson. So, very clean cut, very, um, a little pin -y. So it was kind of cool. Oh, a few more issues. Okay, this one I got because it's an homage cover. It's meant to look like Bill and Ted's Excellent Venture, which some of you may know about since there's been trailers for the third movie coming out. So this is Red Sonia and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica. You know, very obvious homage there. They're inside a phone booth. Some of you may remember what a phone booth is and some of you are too young to even know what they are. It was before cell phones and if you needed a place to make a call, go in this giant box, put in some change, call, get hold of someone. Okay. Rick and Morty presents Bird Person. I got this for, you know, it's obvious fact that I love Bird Person. It's one of my favorite characters. I could do an okay impersonation of him, but I have to kind of not be trying. If I try it, it turns out horrible. So, maybe one of these things I'll do it. And the final issue to Sex Criminals, number 30. Kevin Wada. Wada. I remember him. He worked on the She Hulk series. And I am a big fan of his work. I would like to get something by him someday. So I'm going to open this up and let's see what it is. Let's see if I'm able to actually 
show it or if I'm going to have to censor things. For mature readers, duh, because, oh, because wank. All right, let's see, can I show it? I can show the back cover. Okay, I can't show the front cover. Um, I will just show that much. Another month of comics from TFAW.com. I appreciate all of you for watching and my unboxing videos. I will try to do more of these more often. Maybe do another random order on eBay. Uh, if I get a collector's edition of some game or some package, may do something like that soon. I have a few things planned. I'm still going to do some Let's Plays pretty soon. I've been experimenting with some different headsets, so I might try something, see what happens. So anyways, if you like this channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, you know, make a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you, and thanks for watching. Bye.